all right guys i had a little problem with my um lipo battery one of the cells was reading like zero basically and um you know i was like how do i fix this you understand i was like how do i fix this how do i fix this so i put it on nickel the nimh on 1.0 amps and i left it charged yeah so basically i'm still in process of it so it, it looks like it's climbing back to the 14.8 volts so i'm just waiting till it reached to the 14.8 and then i'm gonna um check the the cell as well i also have um i have a picture in the beginning to show you the cell that was um on zero so one was on 4.0 one was on 4.1 i think the other was on 3.9 and the other one was flat so i was like how do i fix this how do i fix this so i put it on this setting on a low amp as you can see it's climbing its way up now it's climbing its way up this is just a technique i use to um fix the cell fix one of the cells on my 4s battery yeah so i'm just waiting now waiting waiting just to see what how it goes and then i'm gonna update you guys on if it got fixed or not you know so it's climbing its way it's taking its time it's climbing it's climbing hopefully this sorted out you know yeah i bought these batteries about i would say i have them about six months now uh they've been through a lot i ain't gonna lie been through x max crash uh fire on the x max with the xlx2 um yeah man it's been it's been a wild ride so let's see if i could bring it back get it up to time so i can um try use it again try use it again yeah so it's on 14.41 volts at the moment got a couple more to go and we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see all right all right so i'm gonna cut it here and i'm gonna bring it back when it's up to the 14.8 volts and let's see the cell reading and the resistance of the cells so yeah all right guys it's on 14.551 volts now 14.51 so it's climbing it's climbing its way up it's climbing its way up hopefully fingers cross <laughs> that it will work so bear with me guys bear with me i hope this could help some of you out there who batteries are yeah the cell are damaged or one of the cells are weak so this might be able to bring it back up to time that you could use it again so yeah it's climbing its way up it's taking its time should be there soon enough yeah so mm, 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 mm. yeah i had normally i had to put this in a lipo bag but i didn't but you guys out there if you're doing this make sure you place it in a lipo bag to be secured and also for your safety as well so yeah but what i do i just put mines on um concrete outside at the back at the back of my um in the back of yeah in my washroom and i charge it on the concrete in it so um yeah hopefully that should be all right but you guys make sure you use your lipo bag yeah be on the safe side safety is first all right what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna leave it go to 14.6 volts and i'm gonna check it and see if the cell climbed a bit you know 
Yeah. All right, guys, it's reaching up to that 14.6 volts. I'm gonna um, dis um, disconnect it when it's reached. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, wait, do it, wait, wait, leave it, climb itself, leave it, fix itself, leave it, fix itself. When it's stable, then I'm gonna disconnect it. And I think that should be it. All right, I'll stop it. That's done. Okay, so I'm gonna discharge, disconnect this. And also, bear with me, I'm doing this with one hand. Okay, so I disconnected it. I'm gonna put it up here on my, on my bench and check the cells. I'm gonna put it up here and check the cells now. Battery. So good feels good feels good. Okay, let me connect it back. Connect that. Maple. Okay, I hope you guys yeah you guys can see yeah. battery meter let's see oh man it worked it worked this one was on zero it was on zero this was on 3.9 or something like that this one was on three point but they're all going level now they're going back level so it's actually working guys it's actually working good stuff good stuff so i'm gonna continue charging it on the nimh so i can get all of them on the same meter as you can see it's still playing around a bit but hell listen it was on zero so i know this could help a lot of you guys that you know lipo batteries tends to you like lose one of the cells sometimes so this can help you guys out so what I'll do, I'll continue charging it on the NIMH to get all of them back to level. And I'll update and I'll let you guys see how it brought, brought it back, basically. All right, let me see. Oh, let me check the resistance, sorry. Resistance. Let me see. Ah, uh, resistance. Hey one of the resistance that's 11 number uh, i don't yeah looks all right to me looks all right i think it could be used still so let me just bring it back reload this one so i'm gonna leave it continue charging bring it back up to like um 14.8 volts and then it should be good guys it should be good as you can see it's gonna climb its way back up and you guys all right guys all right guys um yeah this is um reaching to the finishing stages as i said i'm gonna leave it reach to the 14.8 um, volts and see if it's all balanced back like all cells are more or less like um same readings you know so yeah let's see let's see oh 14.8 let's make sure it's stable make sure it's stable all right i think it's good let's check it i'm gonna stop it yeah all right so we're gonna go to uh, loading program 
battery meter reading let's see all right well it's not fully up there but look at that it's four point i mean three point four seven three point seven five volts 3.74 volt 3.73 volts so to my knowledge i think it's back up to time so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna charge it on balance lipo let me see lipo okay let me see the resistance first uh the resistance look pretty much all right look pretty much all right could get a couple uses out of it still well the battery itself is not swelling or anything so should be all right so that's the resistance reading for all cells all four cells um and it's 21 21 ohms Yeah, 21 ohms. So let's stop that. The battery lipo. Let me see. We charge it like that. Let me see if it accept it. And it's charging. And there we go, guys. All good to go. For as lipo sorted, all cells are fixed. So I'm gonna balance charge it for about five minutes, and I'm gonna show you guys what reading it has on all four cells again. Yeah. So bear with me. I'm gonna leave it do for five minutes. As you can see, it's it's timing. See some 31 seconds basically well climbing as i speak i don't know if you can see it good we got some little thing there yeah okay you can see good now so i'll be back all right guys all right guys well it's on five minutes now five minutes 19 seconds 20 seconds okay so i'm gonna stop it i'm gonna check the reading Program lipo program select lipo battery meter measuring. Yeah, it's gonna climb its way up, guys. It's actually it's actually working, yeah. So I'm not gonna continue because I, I don't have to charge it for any run today. But I'm just showing you guys this is a way to fix a dead cell in your lipo battery. And yeah should be sorted so don't forget put it on the n i m h program settings put it on 0 0.5 volts or you can put it on 1.0 volts on the n i m h h settings and that would um sort your battery cell out one of the dead cells whichever cell is dead it should bring it back up to time as you can see as i said the one with 347 was on zero but now it's on 3.47 so that's looking good so um yeah it should be fine this is just to help you lipo battery heads out there i hope this helps some of you guys thanks for watching it was more rc more rc more rc more rc madness was here in the building i hope this helps someone of some of some of you guys out it was just a way of me fixing my lipo battery i just realized it was like that this morning and i decided to try and fix it and there you go it's fixed now so thanks for watching more rc madness like and subscribe i got a lot more videos coming you guys way don't worry stay tuned yeah